Let's find out how to calculate square root of numbers. During bank exams and while solving questions in different kinds of competitive examinations, so often we come across finding out squares of numbers and square root of numbers. We have discussed how to find squares of numbers in my previous videos. So today we will be seeing how to find out square root of numbers without using the conventional mathematical method and by finding out in like one or two steps like the shortcut technique method of finding out squares of numbers. Before we find out the square of numbers, let us just prepare ourselves uh, to make the best of the shortcut technique. So first we will look at the squares of numbers from 0 to 9 and make some very key observations from that. Look at the squares of numbers from 0 to 9, starting from 0 square. 0 square is 0, we have 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, and 9 square is 81. So we look at the squares from 0 to 9. If you observe here, 0 and 0, so only 0 squares ending in 0, this is one exclusive square pair. And only 5 squares ends in 5, so this is another exclusive unique pair. That means that if a number is ending in 0, only then will its square end in 0. If a number is ending in 5, only then will its square end in 5. Whereas for other numbers, we have two possibilities. For example, 1 and 9. Look at them both. 1 square ends in 1 and 9 square also ends in 1. We have 1 square 1 and 9 square 81. Similar fashion, we will also see 2 and 4. 2 squares ending in 4 and similarly 8 squares also ending in 4. Same with 9, 3 square is 9 and 7 square is 49. And same with 6, 4 squares ending in 6. And 6 squares are also ending in 6. So these all these numbers are in pairs. Another useful observation that we can make here is that none of these squares are ending in 2, 3, 7, or 8. So we can say that a perfect square will not end in 2, 3, 7, or 8. Very useful observation. But at the moment you see a number is ending in 2, 3, 7, or 8, you can immediately uh, understand from it that it will not be a perfect square. Right? Because perfect squares can only end in the other digits 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, and 9. So this is one of the most important things to learn from here. Now, let's have another look at the table and see what can be concluded. So we look at the number that the square is ending in, and from that we try to find out the square root, the last digit of the square root. Suppose that the square ends in square ends in the square root will end in square root will end in very simple thing. The square of a number is given to you, and you want to find out the last digit of the square root. If the square of the number ends in zero, then the square root will also end in zero. Obviously, keeping in mind that it's a perfect square. Next is if the square ends in 5, the square root will also end in 5. The square ends in 1. However, we have two options 1 or 9. 1 or 9. If the square ends in 4, again we have two options 2 or 8. The square ends in 6, we have 4 or 6. The square ends in 9, we have 3 or 7. These are the possibilities. So to be able to find out square roots faster, these two things are very vital. One, to know the squares from 0 to 9, which obviously a student aiming for bank exams, and the exams must know the squares of numbers from 0 to 9. Second is to understand that perfect squares will not end in 2, 3, 7, or 8. And then finally to know the same. The square ends in 0, the square root ends in 0, and so on. 5, 1, 4, 6, and 9. Okay. So once you have understood these two very important things, we can go on to learn the shortcut technique of finding out square roots.
So let's take our first example, a number here taking 5. So I'll take a number, let's say 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. What is the square root of 1, 5, 6, 2, 5? As you can see, the first thing to do here is to split the rightmost two digits. Which in this case are 2 and 5. So the last digit here, 5, will help us in determining the last digit of the square root. So the last digit will be 5. As we have seen earlier in the table, and as you can see here also, that only 5 square ends in 5. So we get here 5, and the square root will end in 5. Then, we look at the remaining digits here, which are 1, 5, and 6, the number 156. Now we'll ask to ourselves, is 156 a perfect square? If you know squares up to 20, you will know very well that 12 square is 144 and 13 square is 169. So 156 is definitely not a perfect square. In fact, you can say 156 is between 12 square and 13 square. 12 square is 144 and 13 square is 169. So we always take the lower number, 12, to get here 1. Five, six. Square root of 156 is 15625 is 125. Let's see it again. Whatever number is given to you, you split the right most two digits, look at the last digit and determine the last digit of the square root. So 5 will end in 5, unique. So 0 will end in 0 and 5 will end in 5. Then we look at the remaining digits here, 156. 156 is between 12 square and 13 square. 12 square being 144 and 13 square being 169. So we we'll take the lower number, the lower value which is 12. So we get here 12, so we get the answer is 125. Let's take another example. Let's take a small number this time. I want to find out the square root of 5, 6, and 5. I get the same thing. The first step. Split the right most numbers, 5 ends in 5 and 56. Is 56 a perfect square? Look at the board here. 56 is not a perfect square. It will be between 7 square and 8 square. 7 square 49 and 8 square 64. So 56 is between 7 square and 8 square. We take the lower value as we have in the previous example and that is 7. So answer will be 75. So as we can see, if finding out square is just very simple, particularly when the square is ending in 5. We will see other examples also, numbers ending in 1, 4, 6 or 9. But first let's learn about numbers ending in 5. It's very very easy. We'll take one or two more examples. Let's try again. Let's start with taking the number 1, 1, 0, 5. So, what will be the first step? The first step will be to look at the last two digits here. 25. So, the number is ending in 5. If the square is ending in 5, what will be the last digit of the square root? Recall the table and look at this, these squares on the board. 5 and 5 are the pairs. So, that means it's ending in 5, the last digit will be 5. And then, next step, look at 110. Now is 110 a perfect square? What is 10 square? It is 100. And what is 11 square? 121. So 110 is between 10 square and 11 square. The lower number being 10. So we will take 10 here. Answer becomes 105. Very easy. But now we will take another thing. We will take another example. A number not ending in 5. So we will take something. Let's say I want to find out what the square root of maybe 1024. What is the square root of 1024? Okay. So we'll see the last digit of 4. Now look at the board here again. 4 means it will be 2 or 8. The square is ending in 4. The square root will end in 2 or 8. So write down here 2 or 8. Now, the number 10 here, is it a perfect square? No, it's between 3 square and 4 square. 3 being the lower value, it will take 3. That means the answer will be 32 or 38. So we will take, take 2 seconds. We will get to know that the answer is either 32 or 38. Now we have to decide which one is the right answer. And again for that, a very simple trick. Very easy one. 
Number 3 that we already have got in the 10th place, multiply it with the number next to it, which gives us 12. Okay, we see. Number on the left hand side, whether it is a one digit number or two digit number, multiply it with the number next to it. Number next to 3 is 4, 3 into 4, 12. And look at the number 10 here. Is the number 10 less than the product here? This is 10, this is 12. Yes, it's less than 12. So we'll take the value as 32. If it's more than 12, we'll take the value as 38. Right? We'll take one more example. Just to make this point clear. Yes. You can say I want to find out the square root of 7396. Now again here, the last digit is 6. 6 means 6 or 4. So 4 square is ending in 6 and 6 square is ending in 6. Last digit is 6, that means the last digit of the square root will be 4 or 6. Now, here we have 73, which is not a perfect square, it is between 8 square and 9 square, so it will be 84 or 86. We have to decide which is the right answer. So we multiply 8 with 9 and this gives us 72. Now you can see 73 is more than 72. We take a higher value as the answer.